Here I've got a nice problem for you from the 2001 D Dutch Mathematical Olympiad. So it has to do with the functional equation. So let's suppose we've got a function so that for all real numbers x and y, we see that f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y plus xy. Furthermore, we know that f of 4 is equal to 10, and then our goal is to find f evaluated at 2001. So I'm not going to give any hints for this because there's a bunch of pretty straightforward ways to make this calculation. Um, but I will provide a nice theorem which gives us a trick for calculating quite easily. But if you want to give this go, this problem a go before we look at that hint, now is the time. So like I said before, we're going to use a not very well known but pretty simple theorem in order to prove this quickly. So it's called the discrete fundamental theorem of calculus. And I've actually done a really old video on this theorem if you guys want to dig that up. So it says that if a sub n is a sequence of numbers, so n goes from 1 to infinity, and then we define this thing called the forward difference operator, or sometimes the discrete derivative, so it's denoted by delta a sub n, and that's a sub n plus 1 minus a sub n, then the sum as n goes from c to d of delta a sub n is equal to a sub d plus 1 minus a sub d c. So I want to compare this to the normal fundamental theorem of calculus, which says the integral from a to b of the derivative with respect to x of f of x dx is equal to f of b minus f of a. So here we're thinking about this forward difference operator as a discrete derivative, and then this sum as a discrete integral versus the continuous counterparts over here, which are well known in calculus. So I won't prove this carefully, but I'll sketch a proof. So we'll take this sum as n goes from c to d of delta a n, and then we'll use the definition of delta a n to see that this is the sum from n equals c to d of a sub n plus 1 minus a sub n, like that. Next, we can split this into two sums. So we've got the sum as n goes from c to d of a sub n plus 1 minus the sum as n goes from c to d of a sub n. Next, what we'll do is re-index this second sum by exchanging n with n minus 1. So that's going to change this n plus 1 to an n. That's going to change this n equals c to an n equals c plus 1, and then we'll have d plus 1 in the top. Now I want to notice is that this left-hand sum and this right-hand sum are almost exactly the same. It's just this left-hand sum has a d plus first term, and this right-hand sum has a c term, whereas otherwise they have all the same terms and they will cancel because we've got a minus sign in between them. So that's why this gives us a sub d plus 1 minus a sub c. So now that we've got this discrete fundamental theorem of calculus, let's clean up the board and then we'll look at the solution. So now we're ready to look at a solution for this problem. So notice we've got a function which is defined over all real numbers, but everything we talked about with the discrete derivative had to do with a sequence, which is like a function defined over a discrete set. But what we can do is just focus on certain values of this function and then take a sequence defined by those certain values. So we're thinking about the values of the function f of n as n goes from 1 to infinity. And then next, we want to bring into mind that we define this thing called the forward difference operator or the discrete derivative, and that allowed us to calculate sums pretty easily. And in that setup, we had a delta a sub n equaled a sub n plus 1 minus a sub n. So that gives us some motivation that maybe we should calculate this forward difference operator defined on our new sequence. So we can do that by taking our functional equation and setting x equal to n and y equal to 1. So let's see what that gives us. That'll give it give us f of n plus 1 equals f of n plus f of 1 plus n. Again, just using this functional equation. 
But now subtracting f of n from both sides, we see f of n plus one minus f of n equals n plus f of one. So we can rewrite this left-hand side as maybe this forward difference operator of our function f of n. And then putting this into terms of the fundamental theorem of discrete calculus, that tells us that the sum from n equals zero to 2000 of our forward difference operator of f of n is equal to f of 2001 minus f of zero. Now, starting from this over here, which is our goal, we have f of 2001 equals, so that's gonna be the sum as n goes from zero up to 2000 of this forward difference operator applied to f of n, but that's this guy up here, so that's gonna be n plus f of one, and then we'll have plus f of zero. Again, just moving this minus f of zero over. So this is a nice way to calculate this f of 2000, but we have two things that we need to find. One of those is f of one and one of those is f of zero. So let's maybe go ahead and calculate those over here and then we'll see how to finish it up. So first off, we know f of four equals 10 but we also know that four equals two plus two. So that tells us that f of four is equal to two times f of two plus two times two, which is four. So notice again, f of four is equal to 10. So we can put a 10 here. That tells us that two times f of four is equal to six. In other words, f of two is equal to three. Now we can play that same game to calculate f of one. So we see that f of one plus f of, so we see that f of one plus one, well, that's gonna be three, which is f of two, will be the same thing as two times f of one plus one. But now simplifying that, we see that f of one is equal to one. So that's actually a value that we need. We can take this f of one and replace it with the number one. Okay, and then finally we need to calculate f of zero. So here we can use x equals one and y equals zero to give us f of one equals f of one plus f of zero plus zero because we've got zero times one there. But looking at that, we see that f of zero is equal to zero. So that means we can cancel out this f of zero term. It doesn't really matter. So we've got the sum as n goes from zero to 2000 of n. So that's like a triangular number that has a standard formula. That's gonna give us 2000 times 2001 over two. So that's from summing up this part. And then we have to sum n from zero to 2000 of one but that's 2,001 total copies of one. So that means we're gonna add 2,001 to that. Now we could simplify that a little bit if we wanted to. So we can take this two, cancel it with this 2,000, and that's gonna give us a 1,000. And then next we could maybe uh, factor this 2,001 out. So we get 2,001, and then we'll have 1,000 plus one. So that's gonna be times 1,001. And we'll just leave it like that because at this point we've got a standard calculation to finish it off. And that's a good place to stop.